Hey, what's up guys, Dignal here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the uh, the effect that's on screen right now. Uh, to start off, you're going to want to download the, uh, the preset that's in the description, uh, it contains my velocity that I uh, released yesterday, and uh, it's just a great base for this effect, uh, I feel like. So, uh, once you've got it downloaded, you're going to want to mark your kill, uh, and go 30 frames back, so for me, that'd be right here. Uh, go ahead and split it and click on this effects thing right here and then apply the um apply the uh, the preset and as you can see it should work <laughs> all right great so uh once you've got that you're gonna want to head over to the uh, the video effects tab right here and you're gonna want to search for uh tint so uh go ahead and apply the default uh, go ahead and keyframe the tint lights right here. Go 10 frames in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, and go ahead and make the color a bit more gray. Roughly here. Like that. And you're going to want to go to this right here. Go one frame backwards. Make a keyframe. And go to the other uh, kill. And uh, set it to white. Uh, and now you should have something like that. Uh, if I could just go ahead and pre render it just like that and what you're gonna want to go ahead and do now is apply the other uh, pinch punch effect so I'll go ahead and reset it to none go uh, to this very last uh, frame right here uh, make a keyframe uh, after you press animate of course and go one two three four five frames uh, back make the uh, the amount right here just negative one and go five frames in from the start and set it to, uh, to zero and as you can see it applies that sort of effect which is pretty cool uh, now in order to actually create the sort of glow effect there are a couple plugins you'll need uh, the first one being glow edges right here and what you're gonna want to do is just copy my settings here uh, just like that as you can see, you're going to focus on these right here. Just go ahead and copy those. And this is how you're going to want to keyframe it. So uh, go up to glow brightness, make a keyframe one frame before the kill. Uh, go forward to the kill, set it to zero. And go uh, 10 frames in. Or uh, five frames in, rather. One, two, three, four, five, and set it to zero. And make sure to delete the first keyframe. Now, uh, if you go ahead and check how that looks it looks pretty good uh, but all right now what you're gonna want to do is you go up into your video effects tab and search for tritone right here uh, go ahead and just uh, copy these settings right here just copy these numbers and uh, you're gonna want to go uh, to uh, mix with the source right here and this is what you're gonna want to use to keyframe so uh, go on to the kill uh, make sure it's at zero Go back one frame and make sure it's at 1000. So what this is going to look like is just sort of that. And just go do a couple frames in and just drag it back up to full. Uh, I would recommend it just copying that to make sure it's, uh, you know, it actually stays for a while. And if we go ahead and just check how that looks looks pretty decent now uh, something you can do to um, actually increase your uh, improve on this effect is you can add you know some shakes uh, some glow you know whatever uh, I'm not gonna be going over those in today's video however if you just apply your own shake to this uh, you should be good to go honestly um, so yeah uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did you know make sure to leave a like uh, comment subscribe all that good shit and I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.